Hello viewers, I am Siddhartha and welcome to my channel. Today is a great day for me because I have completed 200 subscribers. So thank you for all the support. So today I am going to disassemble a self priming monoblock pump in this video and show you inside it. So this is the pump which I have got in my own house. So this was not in use for a quite long time. Now I am going to disassemble it and show you inside it. So this is the pump part and this is the motor. So I am going to disassemble the only the pump part and show you inside it. So in this strip you can see the details of the motor. So it is a 0.5 horsepower single phase motor with a maximum RPM of 2800. Let's open the suction end first. So this is a gasket here, this is a I guess check well and one more gasket is there. These gaskets are provided to make the pump watertight or to prevent the leakage of water. So this is the position or this is the portion where the suction pipe is attached to the pump. So now I am going to show you the uh, function of the check valve and the position where it is attached to the pump. So this is the portion where the pump, where the check valve is attached to the pump. So water will enter from here. So how is, let's see how it works. So the force of the flowing water compresses the spring and opens the valve. Let's see how it works. So the force, the water will enter from here and will compress the spring present here and will open the valve. So the purpose of using a check valve is to maintain a unidirectional flow of water inside the pump. So now it is in open position as the spring is under compression. So this is the check valve. Now it is in an open position. I'm going to open the So this is the impeller of the pump. So this is the casing. The water enters through this way through the suction end and the water leaves from the casing through this way. So this is the impeller by which the water is pumped out. So this is the impeller which rotates inside the casing and it pumps the water. So this is fixed with the shaft of the motor. Have a close look 